Okay, good day everyone. This is Dad Central the most handsome Yekebo Africanicious adrenaline pumping a physical power husband. And today we are going to be having a total review on the update of some of these youths that we have been sponsoring through Cetros Foundation. And we're going to be giving you just snapshot report about how they have been performing where they were before and where they are presently and as we prepare for the update of the graduation of a whole lot of persons that have been helped by this foundation today we start with the number one person by the name joy joy happens to be just like we told you in the last episode joy happens to be a cleaner at a particular bank in nigeria and based on our assistance through central foundation we got her enrolled in fashion i'm very very happy this is the place that i want to learn to work i really thank god i'm not i'm if, even if in a dream i've not even believed this honestly for you people to bring me out in some fairness, i really thank god honestly this is my madam. You people can see the woman. Hello. I really happy. Thank you. And you'll be shocked because her performance is beyond expectation. And we're so glad that this lady is not just resigning from the bank and just taking it little by little, but she's running with a very high speed. And as such, you need to see what she's currently doing in the realm of fashion. So, kudos to you, Joy. We look forward to receiving better and well-improved reports about you on a weekly basis. The number two person we move down to is, can you guess it? Can you guess who we are talking about? The Bancolis family. Remember the story we told you about Bancolis family? They actually lost their means of livelihood due to the incident that happened in Nigeria that was called NSAS. And as a result of that, a family of four with nothing to feed on, we came in to assist them and presently, this is what they have. So what we did was to come in to assist the bank holidays by providing them with machines, sewing machines, since the wife happens to be a sewing seamstress. So we got her a brand new machine and we discovered that for her to even be able to send us a project, a work, update of what she's doing in fashion, they could not even afford a phone, an Android phone. So we decided to buy them the Android phone. If you would like to watch the video that we made concerning their stories, you'll find it here. And as such, this family, they are presently doing fine. The most interesting thing is that they also have these two boys, lovely boys, that are so much, as in we are, we are so much happy with what they are doing. They are even advertising for their parents. Hello, everybody. My name is David, and my brother name is Victor. We are the and based on that we are calling on all of you our sponsor our supporters on this channel kindly help patronize the african youth development strategy output as such you can hook up on this channel when we give you the update on how you can purchase whatever products they are producing now we come to number three elijah alice elijah alice story is something that is very interesting she happens to be a lady missionary in a village and as such apart apart from just uh, doing the missionary support work she ended up training women in that village on how to make bags these are a lot of our sisters that work together we are making lunch buses I'm making lunch buses. And one of their greatest challenge was first to get a phone where which she can be able to what upgrade herself by training herself online and going forward to empower these women by training. So we picked it up, we bought her a phone. This is the phone they promised to buy and they bought it. I've received it. 
God bless you, man. If you would like to see the story on that, you'll find it here. Buying out the phone, I tell you, was never a waste of resources by the Cetros Foundation. As this lady ended up doing more in her fashion product, upgrading herself, and her bags, I tell you, are getting ready for shipping to any country of the world. So, in case you would like to see that, I'll just show you a B-roll of our product now. So if there is any way you would like to support this our African youth, the best way you can do that is to patronize them as their products are being revealed to us and it will not be something we are going to forget very soon. So we appreciate your support for each of these products that are being produced by our African youth because it's not just about empowering them but empowering them and also assisting them to sell their products. That is what is going to put money in their pockets now we come to the number four the number four person mm, is someone you already know and by name sophia sophia is just increasing her self-worth every day every week every month and as such she has the latest collections of design that she has made for herself and let me tell you sophia is not just a talker she's a doer and we are doing a whole lot to just remodify her and make sure that she's up to date and we look forward to bringing her down to lagos very soon so we want her to up our game more before we bring her down to lagos because she's far there in the east so that we can bring her down to lagos and give her more touch upgrade Now it's getting more interesting as we move to number five. And number five, we have this lady. I tell you, she happens to be a teacher, and her name is Mayomiko Suleiman. Good morning. My name is Suleiman Oluwa Mayomiko. I'm an African youth from Western Nigeria. I want the African youth development strategy to help me train in fashion designing. When I'm established, I will train three African youth for free. I really appreciate this support by the African Youth Development Strategy and Central Lord. Thank you. My Omikun Suleiman happens to be a very, very, very strong goal getter. When Cetros Foundation met with her, she was just interested in dumping a teaching line for what? For fashion. And we were shocked when she said that she has serious interest in fashion, but she needed support on how to go about the training. Wow. We said, okay, we uh, you have our blessings, and we went ahead to pay for our training. But I tell you, in just one week, this lady has started manipulating her way on the machine, and she's doing a whole better. So the next video you are going to be seeing is about Mayo Mekun Suleiman. I want to thank the Central Foundation under Africa Youth Development Strategy for giving me this opportunity to learn fashion designing. I'm very grateful. And this is my Twitter. So based on that video that you've just seen about my Omeko Suleiman, very soon we should be getting her a brand new machine so that she can have something to practice at home. I tell you, that is fulfilling. Now, everybody say, gen, gen. <laughs> the last story, I actually said the last story for all of us to enjoy. In short, I said the best story for the last. It's a story about this guy called Richard. The story about Richard is very, very, very interesting. Richard happens to be living in Nigeria, but working like people that are either in the UK or in the US, where you work in the morning and at night you still go and do some other job just to make yourself sustainable. And as such, he works at a fish shop during the day and at night when he's supposed to be resting, he works as a night guard. My name is Oyoko Richard. I am an African youth. I've been trying to support myself financially by working at a fish shop during the day 
and as a night guard at night, which has not really been easy. Meeting with Mr. Setro, he introduced Setro's foundation to me that they can help me to acquire fashion designing skills online. So thereby, I should be keeping my fish up job and using the time I'm using to do the uh, security job at night to use to learn, acquire this uh, fashion designing skill online. This is more than special. This is more than a wonderful opportunity. And I'm ready to replicate this gesture by training three other African youths. So when I walked up to Richard and I discovered his story, what I did was to tell him that my best advice is for him to look for something creative that he can do. And I was shocked when he mentioned to me that all the while his interest has been into fashion. After discussing with this young man, he told me right there that he's going to resign from the night guard activity because I told him that that is very risky for a young man with future and the likes. Since it's advisable for him to still continue during the day with the fish shop, the best he could do for himself is to resign from the night one and substitute it with an online fashion school. And presently, you know, we run an online fashion school. We decided to give him a 50,000 Naira worth of training in men's fashion for free. And as a result of that, his username and password, everything has been sent to him. And he has started navigating our website since last night. And I tell you, in three months down the line, he will be able to cut out his own fabric, cut out his own design. And before you knew it, he will be able to be resting at night and doing his fashion training. And at the same time, during the day, he can continue with his fish shop job. So at the end of the day, he doesn't need to run for bullets. All he just needs is to what? To grab the money. Because by the time he starts putting on fancy clothes made by him, then people will begin to patronize him for who he is. Please watch his video. So these are basically the six stories, the updates we are giving you today. And we still have more. All you just need to do is sip a cup of coffee today and wait till the next episode. If you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Can you see your Sorry, the meaning of kinesio, pronounce it kinesio, is what, what is, what is it? Kindly give us thumbs up, subscribe, and share our videos. Because if you are doing that, that is how we are going to be able to empower more African youths and give them reason to stay off crime.